Hello YouTube, World's Worst Pro here, beginning episode 2 in the series of Minecraft Crash Landing Hard Route Walkthrough. So before I get started, I'm going to just go ahead and give you guys a tip about the videos that I didn't mention in the first one. Um, in the bottom right of the YouTube video, I keep links basically to the next chapter in the video, so you can kind of skip around if you kind of have a grasp on what's going on, you don't really want to watch all of it. Also in the description, there's links to every single chapter in the video so you can go ahead and peruse those see if you you know want to watch one specific thing and just kind of skip directly there uh, pretty simple goals for this episode uh, the first ones are just to get food and to get automated seeding going and first it's going to start off with some pretty boring dust seeding I believe is where we left off so start up with that and maybe try to aggro some more monsters as well have a zombie kind of doing a dance stuff here. One thing. Oh, another thing we're going to go for is we're going to be going for a bed. Hey, over here, do this. But uh, one thing you can actually do instead of having hardened glass right there is you can actually make a door. Once you have enough wood, of course. Careful of skeletons sniping you through there. Because that's a giant one, so he's not going to even be able to fall in. If that's the case, I think it's better if I just kind of don't walk that way that much. I think it's best if I just kind of ignore him for now. The main thing we need from receiving this night is uh, the bone meal in order to grow more trees. We need to grow one of the trees in order to get silkworm going, uh, to get string to make a bed. Actually, a sleeping bag is preferable over a bed. And the sleeping bag takes uh, 28 string, essentially, uh, whereas a normal bed would just take 12. So, depending on how much you have, you know, if you want to just make a bed, that would be a That'd be definitely be an okay thing to do. I just prefer sleeping bag because portability is really nice when it comes to having a bed. Tough spider. Can't fit. That's fortunate. Okay, I have one block more. Hey, zombies. We're here. Six bone meal so far. It's actually going to end up being the problem. Need more bone meal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grow one of the trees, get a silkworm going. Because once you kind of have a bed, you don't really have to worry about nighttime anymore. Until you need. Um, Unless you need more raw flesh to really make some stuff. Or unless you need bones. Or ender pearls, but you know. Early game you don't really need a lot of that, so. Just wait for everything to finish dying right there. Take a while to die. Go ahead and grab the iron out of there. Put it over here. 
here in that chest. Uh, raw fish. Uh, no, I think I'll cook that before I eat that. Okay. Want to use your matic if possible. Because it will basically one-shot normal spiders. Off is a tough one. Don't really want to fight him. So I'm going to go ahead and break the rule and sprint. Just a little bit. Lead him into the pyrothium. are grown. Uh, they're actually touching, which means I put the dirt a bit too close to each other. Well, I can go, I'm going to go ahead and gather uh, this one on the right, and then replant it a little bit farther away. started with making silk all string okay so let's take a piece of dirt move it a couple blocks over I'm gonna go ahead and use my bone meal on it I'm gonna leave two bone meal in order to make a pan so that I can cook up some fish maybe some other stuff would uh, normally cook up. Want, you want to cook up a silkworm too, but I just kind of have to wait for uh, that tree to finish being infected. How much wood are at? 12. And you don't need the bottom portions of the tree. This puts up 15. 20. This need four pieces of wood. Dang. Okay, getting a bit hungry. So now in comes the food quests. Some of them. I'm going to need salt. So the first of the food quests in Basic Survival is Desperate Times. Just to make zombie jerky, you need salt, rotten flesh. Combine one rotten flesh with two salt, and you get some zombie jerky. When you turn that quest in, you get some more. So yeah, that'll be plenty for now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and eat my way all the way back up to uh, full hunger bar, so I don't have to worry about that for a bit. I am running low on water, though, so I want to refill that as well. And check out my fluid transposer. Which is currently making water, I just had it stalled. Okay. So we can probably get about 30 more leaves transposed from that. So three more bottles of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle that open. And I'm going to start getting some a little bit more dirt. And I'm going to go ahead and make a pan. Rear, do I have the rear planks? Yeah, okay. Make a pan pattern. Pan pattern, bone meal, bone pan. And just need a stick, not Eulorian dust. Place that down, and you can cook some stuff on it. 
Um, and all I have right now is the raw fish. Don't believe you can cook eggplant. I'm going to cook up the rest of this iron, though. Need a little bit more wood to do that, though. Okay. And need a bit of fuel to cook my fish. So I'm going to go ahead and hold off on cooking the fish until um, I have some silkworms. So that way I can cook, cook a fish and a silkworm at the same time. How much wood is that? It's like... I'm going to have exactly 24 once I harvest this tree, but I don't dare harvest it until it's done infecting fully. So until that happens, I'm just going to go ahead and gather some more dust and try to get some bone meal. And also I'm going to dig a channel this way, and this is going to be where I'm going to place my autonomous activator. Basically just kind of dig a channel until the water stops flowing. Oh, whoops. Dig out those two pieces. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sieve that dust and get some more bone meal. I'm actually going to keep the bones because I need uh, bones for stock. So that's why I'm not currently converting those into bone meal. Why I'm instead I'm instead uh, seeding some more dust. One bone meal. I'm gonna put that on my equip bar. See how many I have. Should be able to make through with like uh, two or three, hopefully. So I'm just going to go ahead and sieve all this dust until I get some. Actually, I'm, I'll just sieve until I either get three bone meal or until this entire stack's gone. I'm hoping um, I get three before the entire stack's gone. But it's looking like that may not happen. I should check the drop chance on that, actually. Bone meal. You can actually look up the recipe. Well, not the recipe. Oh, there's a space in there. Bone meal. And one of the options is Ex Nihilo Sieve. It's a 20% drop rate. I should have gotten it uh, multiple times in 15. It's supposed to be every one in five dust gives you a bone meal. There we go. Okay. Almost all infected. And I only needed one, perfect. And my shoes are going to break here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back inside. And actually, that's higher priority right now. Um, you want to be able to sleep through this night if at all possible. So you're going to need a crook. Go ahead and break this one first. But you use the crook to gather leaves that are 100% infected, and they infected, and they will drop a piece of string. And I also have a good chance of dropping another silkworm. enough. Run back inside. Don't lock yourself out. Going to convert all of that into wool. 
four of it into carpets. Then sleeping bag is composed of four carpets, four wool. Oh, so you actually need 32 pieces of string. But anyway, that's now a portable bed, and you can now sleep your way through the night. Then uh, if your camel pack's in your, right, in your hand, just go ahead and right-click to re-equip it. Okay. Now I have a lot of random junk on me. Oh, and four silkworms, so now that I have some silkworms, go ahead and cook some of them. And now that we have a sleeping bag, it's a little bit less important about what you're doing at nighttime because nighttime is no longer a big deal. But want to finish gathering this up, you do need beyond the original um, 32 pieces of string, you're going to need basically 16 pieces later in order to make a golden bag of holding. So I do actually want to gather these last pieces as well. And that's why you got to pay close attention, especially with creepers on the minimap. That was a ton of damage. And actually that gives me a good opportunity to show you uh, what happens when you almost die. See, I'm currently at slowness four, weakness, mining fatigue. Uh, the closer you are to death, the worse your debuffs are. And so basically if you're close to dead, you may as well just be dead. injured now. Those are continuously falling. Okay. Hobble back inside here. Need more iron. Make one another cheer. But uh, while we're in here, let's go ahead and finish up tools of the trade. So you just need an entire set of wood and armor. Legs, helmet, boots, and chest piece. And then if you're anything like me, you're going to proceed to basically just kind of throw those um, elsewhere and never use them. You're going to go ahead and take the axe head. And you've already completed firing it up because you've already got a slab furnace. I suggest taking iron or dust. You can take cantaloupe seed if you're more worried about food, but... Unless you've had a lot of iron so far, I suggest taking the iron ore dust. Oh, and if you can't claim a reward, it's likely because your inventory is just too full. So just go ahead and get rid of some of the stuff in it. Okay. And now that I have some cooked silkworms and a cooked fish, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my frying pan. In addition to being able, able to cook things, frying pan is also great for fighting creepers due to its increased knockback. So I should have had that when I went outside. would have helped against that creeper. But actually, how little I was paying attention, not much could have helped me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use my axe head and to make a bronze hatchet. That'll just kind of help me knock down trees a little bit faster. And now that I have cooked silkworms, I can turn in the even more desperate quest, which gets a rice seed. So now we begin the task of farming. So my preference is to just uh, kind of mine out the clay and just make another channel over this way. Take some dirt, use your mattock on it, and plant a seed. I'm going to go ahead and smell all this iron ore dust that I got from that quest. Basically, I like wood. 
that's okay. Next thing you want to set up uh, also requires a chest. So let me go ahead and finish gathering that tree that I was in the middle of when I had to sprint inside to try to get my sleeping bag set up. just gathered. For setting up the autonomous activator you're going to just need a chest. Actually preferably two chests. Uh, you don't need the first one right off the bat but it is helpful to have two chests eventually for this. And you're just going to come down here, place the place chest in kind of the divot, take the hopper you got from the quest, shift and right click while looking at the chest and then uh, Anything that's dropped in there will go directly into the chest, if you did it right. Next, I actually forgot a key ingredient. We need our oak seed. So just place, come out here, punch two holes, sieve on one side, autonomous activator on the other. If you place it on the, if you place the autonomous activator on the right of the sieve, you just need to click three times right click three times with the uh, crescent hammer and now it's set up to automatically see for you so you don't have to do that manually anymore and that's really nice I think I still had two more pieces of bone meal in here what I'm going to do with those is make another shovel head to make a bone shovel now that uh, we don't have to worry about, you know, whole day-night thing anymore. Basically, just want to keep the autonomous activator filled. I'm just going to go ahead and do a bunch of boring dust seeding. Pretty much just, I think, until my shovel breaks here. I'm going to go ahead and fill up right now, though, so that way it doesn't stop seeding while I'm gathering. basically tell exactly how many pieces of dust you're going to get if you just look at the durability on your shovel. I'm going to go ahead and show you show that. Uh, okay, so durability. So basically, 0 of 200. Looks like I gathered about, yeah, about 200 pieces of dust. So pretty much maybe 200 or 201. Not entirely certain uh, which it would be. Yeah, just shove that in there. And then for, I'm gonna go for additional food now. For that, I'm going to need a bit more cobblestone. You can either unblock the pyrothium or you can actually just come back inside where you have all of your stone and just kind of make some cobblestone. that smelting. Then for the next, basically what I'm going to be making is cooking utensils and just need basically a total of six so you need stone. And in a pinch 
you can even use saplings to burn. Oh, and one thing that I should remark on while, uh, since I haven't quite done that yet, is you can actually tell your temperature by looking down in the bottom left. The black dots is the current ambient temperature, and the white dot is your temperature. So when I'm chilling out over here, you know, it's we're slightly hot, but uh, it's nothing compared to when you get close to the furnace, where it shoots up. It's basically to the end of the bar. So your basically your hydration goes down a lot faster when you're hot. Big surprise there. But that just means don't hug um, all of your machines or your furnaces because you'll actually end up dehydrating yourself. Gonna refill my camel pack a little bit. And have three more bottles from the tru fluid transposer. Looks like we may be able to get one more possibly two more stacks of leaves out of this, so I'm going to do that. Basically, you just kind of want to use up the energy because there's not really much else you can do with it. And it's nighttime outside, so go back to sleep. Re-equip camel pack. Which I'm going to go ahead and fill up the rest of the way. We have another tree, nice, but I'm going to go ahead and grab the stone, and let's just knock out this cooking utensils quest. We need a mixing bowl, mortar and pestle, juicer, and a cutting board. Basically, and uh, the reward for that quest is a pot. So what this is doing is basically give you, helping you get uh, towards Pam's Harvest Craft for food so that you don't starve to death. So we need a pressure plate and a piece of stone to make a juicer, mortar and pestle, which is a stick, which I'm completely out of wood, so I will actually end up having to gather this tree. I didn't gather the leaves on it because I just kind of want to get this quest done. My hunger's sinking a little bit lower. So. Stick. And three smooth stone. Gets you a mortar and pestle. Then you're going to need uh, more planks. For the mixing bowl. bowl and then finally the cutting board requires one piece of iron so that's actually the only one that you were really prohibited from well actually I suppose you're prohibited from getting it earlier getting the juicer as well you can actually get the mixing bowl fairly early because of the recipe but that's not very helpful by itself so anyway you get your pot as a reward I suggest making another chest over here as well as a crafting station just to dedicate to food. And to make a crafting station, just put a crafting table in the grid. And then in this chest, you can put all of your food related things that you're going to be using for cooking. That will also let us work on stocking eyes. So first you have to make stock. How you're going to be ma likely making stock is with bones. You also need your spider eyes for the next part. Uh, stock is just mixing bowl, pot, and then either bones or a vegetable. So that's that first part of the quest. Then the next part is, I can't believe this, spider eye soup. So you just need a, mix a pot and stock and spider eyes to get spider eye soup. And that returns uh, 1.5. Well, actually, that's 3 technically. Uh, three pieces of hunger. And the reward for that is four more spider eyes so that you can make even more yummy, delicious spider eye soup. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and eat some of that now. Regenerate that hunger.
Okay, the next quest we're going to be looking at is called Even Hotter. And for that we're going to need an unfired crucible and an unfired clay bucket. That's fairly simple. We just need a bunch of clay. So make sure to gather all of the clay right around in here. There should be 16 pieces total. But you also, for the unfired crucible, you're going to need bone meal. You're going to need seven pieces. Since we're pretty good on hunger for now, um, that's going to be that. That's going to be the quest we're going to go for next. Is the even hotter one. But it looks like we're out of time for this episode, so. That's going to be where we're going to leave off with uh, basically looking in a little bit better situation of food, have a bronze hatchet, and basically a sleeping bag, way to get through the night, and aut automated uh, dust setup. So that's fairly decent progress for uh, episode two. So that's where I'm going to leave off. Worlds vs. Poro signing off. Have a great day, everyone, and hope to see you for episode three.